Oh, hey there. So the fifth deadly sin is wrath. Now, wrath is just this strong hatred and desire for vengeance. There is righteous anger, okay? Sometimes we see you did what to a kid, and we are angry with a righteous anger. Jesus saw his father's house being run over by greedy people that were misusing his father's name, and it infuriated him. And he turned over the tax collectors or the, the money changers' tables, and he got a whip and drove them all out of there and said, this, my father's house is supposed to be a house of prayer, and you've made it into a den of thieves. That is righteous anger. He didn't kill anybody, okay? He didn't beat anybody. He just shoot them off. Now, the important thing here to remember is that oftentimes we want to take wrath and judgment and justice into our own hands. We get so mad and so angry, even at things that are right, even when the other person is wrong. We get so mad about this that we're like, I'm going to take justice into my own hands and I'm going to hurt them and I'm going to hurt them badly. The problem is the Bible says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay them. We need to forgive. We need to leave room and let God do his work, okay? And I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to wait for God. It takes too long. Maybe. Maybe sometimes. But think about this. You need mercy too. You also deserve judgment. So do I, right? And God was merciful to us, and he gave us time, and he was patient with us so that we could get our things right. And maybe we need to show mercy and compassion to somebody else. Because he's forgiven much, loves much. He was forgiven little, loves little. And maybe they look at everybody else and they go, you're all wrong and I'm right and I've done all the right things. Maybe. But your self-righteous attitude is horrible. And that is almost worse than the bad thing. Jesus continually said, you know, your lack of faith and the fact that you're unrepentant is your biggest problem so you will be destroyed like basically you're gonna go to hell because you refuse to believe that you could possibly be a problem when we try to take wrath and vengeance into our own hands that can be a deadly thing because now we're doing crimes and we're taking things into our own hands and there will be punishment for that there we may die in the process or we may get arrested or we may just have this cancer of hatred inside of us because we're not going to act on it but we sure do hate them we are filled with wrath and anger against those people and, and this isn't just people that you know i see people talking about politics goodness gracious we're in that season right now where everybody hates everybody and i'm like i think it's time for some grace and for some love now i would love for politics to be different i'd love for a lot of things to be different it's a hard world it's, it's a real challenge i'm not saying that it's easy what i'm saying is we need to give god some room and on our end we need to be loving we need to be kind we need to be merciful we need to be compassionate